Hi guys, and welcome to a pick a card reading with Kate. So we've got three different piles today. I'm doing it a little different um, just because my normal camera setup was just very tedious and I need to modify it. So this is my in-between. I've got three piles today for you guys and you're what you need to know right now reading. So we've got this one, number pile number one with this clear quartz style something. I don't know if it's a clear quartz actually. It might be something else, but it definitely is a crown chakra crystal and it's got all these um, markings inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very like um, refracting, refractal. I don't know, but that's what you got. And then we've got Tiger's Eye. This for pile two, really cute little piece. And then we've got a Desert Rose for pile three. Cute little piece. Okay, so um, let's hop into it. So you take a minute and decide on your pile and I will go from there. Take care, see you soon. All right, hello, pile one. So if you were pile one and you chose this, this is your pile. So let's see what tarot I have already chosen for you. We'll put our crystal up here somewhere. So he's still in the frame, but you know, let's see what we got. Oh, okay, six of swords in reverse. Queen of wands. This is a what you need to know right now when you're reading. The empress. The Magician, the King of Swords. Okay, so we've got the indication to stop right there. So we've got the Six of Swords in reverse. So that means that there's maybe, I'm feeling like there's a bit of like stagnancy that's going on with you, um, that you're maybe feeling a little bit like there is no forward movement and that's what you're wanting, right? You're wanting to feel this queen of wands energy. The source is telling you to worry no more, my friend, <laughs> worry no more. Um, and sunflowers might be significant to you guys. Um, also the infinity symbol, but whenever I see this infinity symbol, I always think that there are multiple opportunities or multiple possibilities that you can be kind of coming into, right? Um, so with that, I see, yes, we have the queen of wands, which is definitely talking about forward movement and like, you know, breaking out of this, this stagnant state or this state of like not moving forward that you wanted to come into. And then we've got the empress. Um, so it's like the rebirth of like something new. It's like the birth of new beginnings. And I'm also feeling like maybe the color blue could be significant for you. Maybe some of you are blondes. Um, but you're, or you're thinking about coloring your hair or you want a fresh new haircut or something like that. But that's what I'm getting is that, you know, you are really looking forward to experiencing something new. And, you know, as you go into this new experience, this birthing of this new experience, source is telling you to be gentle with yourself and take care of yourself and to be nurturing uh, to your needs. Because, you know, whenever you start something new or whenever you begin something new or whenever you have forward movement or transformation with the Magician in Reverse, which means, you know, at another infinity sign here with blue, I think maybe some of you guys have blue eyes or, you know, you're thinking of something with the color blue. Um, and then it's also throat chakra energy with a lot of blue here. Um, but it's just this like energy, honestly, of wanting to create something else but then just also being okay with where you're at um so as you begin this new journey as you embark upon this new stuff you also have to be okay with like what's going on with yourself right now and that's i think what why you're not seeing any forward movement because you're not okay with where you're at right now you're not cool with that because it feels like too slow or too stagnant for you and you know understandably so maybe you've been here for quite some time and you're tired of hearing those same words over and over again but you know the idea is that you continue to foster the old while you bring in the new that's what i hear um let's see is there anything else on that let's clarify some of these cards shall we let's see what we have we've got ten of swords okay knight of pentacles 
Mm, four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are having like, you know, with this new endeavor, you're afraid financially what it might mean for you. Maybe it means, you know, for you, you, you feel like you might be feeling a little uh, financially unstable if you go into this new position or you're feeling financially unstable right now. And like you're looking for new opportunities because or trying so hard to create these new opportunities or new spaces for yourself. Because if you don't, then you're afraid you're just gonna like kind of go into like this hell hole and never come out. Um, and Source is saying that that's not true. You have lots of opportunities. It's just, this is indicative. This here is indicative of where you're at completely right now. And like finding solace within that, finding comfort within the stillness is so important right now for you. Um, it's it's almost like you know you've been you you feel like you've been just kind of like disillusioned or disheartened or it's even hard for me to get my thoughts together for this reading because it just feels like heavy it feels like so much it feels like a lot on my brain i feel overwhelmed and i feel like that's what you're feeling is like you're so tight on your money you're trying to create new opportunities you're overloaded you can't think of anything and it you know hearing Hearing that you're going to be getting, sorry, my camera <laughs> flipped out, but hearing that you're going to be getting something new is exciting, but it's also like stressful because you're like, well, is this going to bring me more trouble or is this going to bring me more good? And I feel like it's going to be more good. I feel like it's going to be something good. So let's dive into that with some, oh, let's, let's go Enchanted Map. We'll do Enchanted Map. And guys, I'm not one to rush through a reading um, by any means. So... If you see me shuffling, that's just, it's just how it would go if you were to have a reading with me. Um, obviously, we have more time and we've got more detail and personal things about you, and this is generally for the collective who's watching, but um, I'm grateful to have you. Grateful to have you, and you know, grateful for your patience and understanding as I sort through my thoughts and connect with Source and you. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. Let's see if we have any clarifying with some Oracle. See, slow and steady. Like, crazy how amazing that is right and my dog is barking which is like complete confirmation the number 12 may be significant to you um or the number three but you know i'm hearing that oh there we go 37 cleaning house yeah so it's like you gotta clean up okay source says to draw one more so we're gonna draw one more before i say what i'm gonna say it's still gonna be the same but maybe some of you guys have cats or maybe some of you guys are thinking of cleaning up your home, um, your, your personal space, you know, because you've been feeling, ah, there we go. There's our last one. Follow the leader. Okay. So I think some of you guys also need a mentor. That's like huge in the bottom of the deck. Yes. Unexpected visitors. That's amazing. As I say, mentor, crazy, crazy. Um, and then number five, which is for change, which is what you're going through right now on the bottom of the deck. I'm just going to leave that face up because that just really was inspiring. You guys can't see it, but it's okay. Um, but slow and steady. So just reiterating that is like, you have to be willing to kind of embrace this slow period so that you can, and clean up all the mess, like clean up your thoughts, clean up the things that are possibly not going your way in terms of like energetically. So if something's not serving you energetically, like it has to go in order for you to make space for this new stuff. And then, or this new venture and to so make space in your brain for this new adventure. Because right now you don't even have the capacity to embrace anything new. You're just so overwhelmed with the old. And Source is saying you kind of have to let that old stuff go and the old story go of how things used to roll for you so that you can step into this new space. And that's the following the leader card is like, that's what I mean by like having a mentor or some positive, you know, reinforcement and support. And like, you know, having somebody that has your back when you're down and out like this, when you're not feeling your strongest, someone to pick you up by the bootstraps and throw you into the fire, regardless of the sun starting to come out, which I love when that happens because that gives me also more confirmation. Um, so maybe it's like sunrise where you're coming up, like the sun is coming up or the sun's starting to shine through wherever you are, but that's, that's important is like allowing yourself to be led right now because you know you trying to make these decisions ah there's there it is there's something you trying to make these decisions for yourself and be on this new path or these new things is just too overwhelming 
it's just too much. You don't have, you know, because you have no more knowledge on the, the subjects or you're starting something completely left field, you have no clue what it is that you're supposed to be doing here. So the birthing of the new idea needs to be led by a mentor, needs to be led by someone who can help you or guide you. Um, so maybe that's something to look into is to find someone who can, you know, even if it's like a family member, you know, having someone who has your back all the time, who is constantly there to lift you up and pick you up to help you, you know, with these adventures or these new um, things. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw... I feel like that's all you guys need right now, but I'm going to do one more wisdom of the oracle, wisdom of the oracle, if I can talk, to help um, just solidify things really quickly for us, because this is really cool. Um, because it, you know it's not negative in any kind of way. It's literally just you know you taking responsibility for this new cycle of life, stepping into it with bravery, which you I'm sure have been doing, and being open. You know because you know if you're closed off and you're thinking you have it all figured out, like you may not and that's why maybe the money isn't coming in or the, the abundance isn't coming in as you would have liked so now it's time to reach for outside sources and look for someone else to give you a, a hand whoa okay here's our confirmation card oh my gosh look at this we've got exchanging gifts my goodness and building blocks so yes it's 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 exchanging again exchanging gifts which is like taking you know, helping have someone help you or give you something or receive something. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be receiving a really nice um, gift from the universe. And also just like in exchange for your efforts and your, you know, whatever it is you've been putting in. And then we've got building blocks, which is like, you know, you guys knowing that this is just the start. This is not the end all be all. This is not the last of it. You know, you're just starting and so allowing yourself to build and I see Legos in my head so maybe some of you guys really enjoy building or Legos or architecture um or interior design I hear that as well but like it's like just enjoying this building process and not stop you know not trying to rush ahead into something that you you're not ready for um just taking your time and being okay with taking your time slow and steady you know where is that card here we go yeah slow and steady slow and steady just being okay with that allowing yourself to receive the gifts of the universe that you've worked so hard for um and just knowing that the exchange is not always going to be monetary okay that i felt like that was something that needed to be said um it can be emotional it can be abundance can come in a lot of different forms and i think that's something that's worth saying okay so thank you so much, Pile One. I love you. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. I'm going to swipe this over and pull out Pile Two. So if you're Pile Two, get ready. I'm not even going to stop the camera. I'm just going to put the cards over here. Keep talking. If you're hanging, awesome. Stay with me. Um, if maybe you feel like you resonate with more than one pile. but Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Hello there, pile two. Oh, let me get piles one. It's crystal. Clear. Hello there, pile two, and welcome to your bigger card reading. This is a little different, like I said, than my normal, um, but this is what you need to know right now. Um, and I'm doing it this way because it just felt like this is the different. This is just this is just the way. All right, so let's go. You guys pick the tiger's eye, which is a beautiful crystal. I love this one. It's very powerful, and I'm feeling very powerful um, just being around it. So let's just clean up our space for a second here and get started. So let's see what the universe has to talk with you about today. Okay, so we've got the seven of pentacles in reverse. We've got the chariot. Page of swords. Seven of Cups in reverse. Both Page of Swords and Seven of Cups are in reverse. This is going to be a long one, so I'm going to scooch this down just a bit so you guys can see your cards. Mm -hmm. Let's go down. There we go. Okay, and let's see what else we've got. The Tower. Ooh, I see. And then one more. All right, Nine of Cups. Okay. And then we'll clarify what these this have. All right, so... Right off the bat, I'm getting a don't go or a don't move forward, a stop, a halt, like slow down, whoa, buddy, 
like Will Wilbur kind of situation. Um, it feels like maybe things, it, this may be of a relationship reading. Maybe this is a relationship situation. Um, or career maybe, but I, I don't know. Relationship came to my head first, but it could be either. So take it as you will. Remember, take what you like and leave the rest. Um, this is a general reading, so. But what I'm getting already is a woe, is a stop, is a slow down. Um, I feel like whatever is going on, it is, t it, it is taking you down. It is taking you and throwing you <laughs> all over the place. And like you have been in this state of pushing and forcing. And now the situation has come to affect your emotions. It has come to affect your finances. And it has come to affect your ability to make conscious choices that help you. Um, and it's the self-value that comes with that, of knowing that and recognizing that and being honest with yourself about that. That is so important right now is backing off, knowing when to back off, knowing when to take yourself out of something when it's too much for you or when it's just not meant for you because you can't continue to just force and force and force on something that just doesn't align with your purpose. Okay. Um, and maybe some of you guys are, are fire signs, you know, or have fire in your chart, Leo, Scorpio, or sorry, Leo, Sagittarius or uh, Aries. But I'm getting this sense of like your light just being dimmed, like your light is just being dimmed and you still have such a bright soul, a bright spirit, a bright heart. Like I feel like you're someone who's always constantly smiling, but like behind closed doors, you are crying and you don't allow whatever the situation is or whoever this is to see your pain. And it could be out of protection of your feelings of yourself, because you feel like, you know, if you deal with your emotions by yourself, then that's safer than dealing with them with someone else. But Sometimes you have to set boundaries around people or things or situations in order for it to be clear where you stand within those. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, like people can't read your mind, like they don't know. And like your happiness is important. So why not allow yourself to be happy here? You know, why not take priority of your happiness? Um, so let's let's do a little bit of let's do a little clarifying, shall we? Yeah, here we go. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance in reverse, Five of Cups, and Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're like a very like, especially with this Five of Cups and Page of Wands, like I feel like you're a very happy-go-lucky person on the outside, but your insides are not happy. Your insides are not balanced and Maybe you're someone who is fighting with finances or, you know, fighting with like finding their abundance or knowing what abundance means to them or what it could mean for them. Um, but your emotional fulfillment is just not being met. And once your emotional fulfillment is met, then you will be able to have that abundance that you're looking for. But currently right now, I feel like you're pouring money and time and effort into something that's just you're it's not working and behind your beautiful bright eyes is this and maybe some of you guys have blue eyes I had blue eyes in the last one too or like have you know maybe wear blue contacts or gray contacts something like that um like colored contacts maybe um I'm also getting that maybe some of you guys like anime <laughs> or like you know you like those you like pastels or like pretty things like um, and you almost have this like dreamy mentality of like that's the way things go it's like I suffer you know because in a lot of those you know a lot of shows tv cartoons anime what have you it's this almost romanticized version of life where you know you kind of suffer and then finally something will click and you'll get the thing that you're looking for just by magic and it's not that that can't happen but there's got to be some you know in our in our in our world in our dimension and this plane 
in order to get things to work for you, you have to change your mindset about them and how you speak about them, how you think about them. And like, you're kind of waiting on a miracle and sort of saying that the miracle is, is, is here. The miracle is that you haven't gone underneath. You haven't fully lost yourself within all of this turmoil that you've put on yourself. And they are saying that it is something that you have brought upon yourself. So it's time to be honest with yourself about it, you know, and just be like, okay, you know, I have experienced some pain, but I don't deserve pain anymore. I'm not going to bring pain into my life anymore. I'm not going to choose pain. I'm going to choose happiness more often. And you're not going to be perfect at it because, you know, this is, life is not easy all the time. You know, it could be, but sometimes it's just not. And you have to kind of like be okay with receiving the honesty that comes with it not being that way. You know, you have to be okay, like, this is not what I expected and it's not fun and I want to change. I just don't know how. And so we're going to see what else you need to know about this. Um, but maybe we can figure out how this can change or how we can turn this around. Um, because I feel like it's possible. I feel like there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel and you don't need to cry in the dark with yourself anymore, you know? We're here for you. We're here for you. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's do this. Let's do enchanted map first. Let's clarify with some 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 oracle, <laughs> some oracle cards. And I just feel like you're somebody that is so kind. Like you're somebody who really reaches out to others to help them. Um, but victimhood is not, you know, martyr martyrdom is not you know, the state of you right now. That's not where your soul wants to lie is in that, you know, that's not where your soul wants to be is in the state of victimhood of, you know, everything bad always happens to me. I always have to cry behind closed doors. Nobody sees me crying. I'm always suffering um, is what I hear. All right. So here we go. Dragon's lair. Ooh, I love the way that looks. It's pretty. Let's see what else. So Dragons, may, like dragon spirits may be significant to you. Um, dragons. Um, I'm hearing that movie, like how to, how to catch a dragon or how to something a dragon. How to train a dragon, I think it is. I'm hearing that. Spirit of place. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. What else do we have? Golden palace. One more or is that it, Source? One more. Okay. I figured there was one more. I felt like there was one more for you guys. Felt like there was one more for you. Oop, just popped right out of there. Okay. Details, details. All right. So yeah, I feel like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I feel like there is a recovery definitely possible from this. And maybe butterflies are also very significant to you or things with wings. Um, but right now you're just, oh, look, even here, like it says clarity. I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but it definitely says clarity there. Um, so the thing is, is what we're trying to do is get clarity on this. So maybe the number four is significant to you. Maybe the number three, um, 19, four, 23 or 43, but, and those could be ages, dates anything but those I just felt like I should say those I always do um because maybe that'll help resonate but it's like you have built this like almost ice queen persona you're so kind on the outside and it's so warm on the outside but the inside is bottled up and rightfully so you know rightfully so I do not blame you because you have been through so much you know um but source is saying it's time to take responsibility it's time to change your life um, because there is abundance waiting for you. There is financial freedom. There is, um, social freedom. Cause I feel like some of you guys maybe have a hard time socially as well. Um, like where you feel like meek, like you can't speak your mind, like you can't get the words out properly. Um, but, and maybe some of you guys are like, you know, uh, autism or ADHD or ADD, um, or just, you know, social um imbalances things that make you feel like you can't speak up or talk or express yourself the way you'd like and you know yeah i feel like anything with wings is important there's birds there's 
butterflies, dragons, um, not unicorns, but what are the ones with wings? Pegasus, maybe that's important to you. Um, but it's just this energy of like, from fall, from winter to fall to spring to summer, you know, like you have to go, this is just a season and you just have to realize that this is a season and you're passing through a season of your life. And it's nothing more than that. You know, there is going to be a new season. This is not the end of, this is not the end of the road. Okay. This is not the end of it. You're going to be able to experience way more positive and happy things than all these negative things. Um, because you deserve it. You deserve to experience those things. You deserve to have that kind of happiness and freedom. And Source is saying, you know, pay attention to the details and of the, the little signs and synchronicities that you're receiving. Because maybe you guys have been seeing angel numbers around or like, you know, symbols that are sacred to you. Little synchronicities here and there. And Source is saying to really just pay attention to those and pay attention also to the cycles of the moon and how they affect you and how water affects you. Um, maybe some of you guys are water signs also, um, you have water in your chart and it's really affecting how you operate. And I think also she's saying, don't be so obsessed with mercury and re retrograde uh, because it's not as important as it people make it seem. It's a thing, definitely, but it's not, you can control how you react and how you behave during this time. So I don't know if that's something significant for any of you guys that are watching, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay. So let's see. Let's get our final cards here. Oh, wow. That came right out. Yang. Mm, yeah. So embracing that masculinity in yourself, the divine masculine of like learning to speak up for yourself and say what you mean. TikTok. One more source. One more. Yeah. We get one more for you guys. That's awesome. Um, there we go. Not for you. Did I not say this at the beginning? Did I not say this at the beginning? This is insane confirmation. Holy crap, I'm freaking out. This is the kind of stuff, this is why we do this. This is why we do this, because of this. Because sometimes you just need to hear it again. Sometimes you just need to hear it again, hear it again. Time will tell. We've got TikTok over here, over by the details, which also has this compass circular time. And that just means time, wheel of fortune, turning. I think of the wheel of fortune, there's lots of circles here of the Wheel of Fortune card. And to me, that signifies, and even the fortune cookie circle, is that it's time to embrace your yang energy. It's time to make decisions. It's time to make choices, okay? And you are in charge of your destiny. You have to take charge of it and stop allowing this situation or others to kind of change, you know, throw you off so badly. You know, it's not, it, it's, it's not, this is not for you. Overall, point blank period, no, no, no. Okay, choose a different path so that you can change your trajectory, change your future, change yourself for the better. You deserve better, okay? I hear that, you deserve better, so choose better because that's what you, you, you really are a princess in disguise. You are a beautiful human being who deserves the world handed to them on a silver platter. That's these hands reaching out, you know, here, even here, like all these hands, like take it, take the advice, take it, here you go, you know, just handing it to you. So it's up to you to take it. And that's you living your life choices, doing what best serves you, you know, at this time. But this is the facts, okay? I love you so much. Thank you so much, group two. It was a pleasure to have you here for this reading. I'm going to swipe these cards and I will see you later. If you'd like to stick around for group three, feel free. Maybe they all they will resonate with you as well. Um, but yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Again, like I said, I'm not even gonna stop the tape. I'm just gonna keep rolling. So if you're still here waiting on group three to start, you've got a few seconds. So you can fast forward if you want. Totally up to you. Just swiping the slate clean here and the beginning and the middle. Where's my group three? Okay. Hi there, group three, and welcome to your reading with Kate. It is so nice to have you guys here today. This is a what you need to know right now reading, and you guys picked the desert rose. So beautiful. Love her. So cute. I'm gonna put her up here so we have her in the reading. Um, but yeah, let's get started and see what's going on with you guys. Okay. Not even going to hesitate. The hanged man. Okay. Interesting. Queen of pentacles in reverse. 
I hear all tied up. And then I also hear all grown up with you, which is like the Rugrats all grown up. Hmm, maybe that's significant to you. Maybe you watched that. I don't know. We're going to keep rolling. Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Okay. I'm getting that there are some, some opportunities here. There are some, definitely some things being posed to you or some, some things being offered to you. I'm getting an offer. And the offer is seemingly black and white, but it also involves a lot of reading and possibly paperwork or just a lot of like responsibility. Um, and you are like, oh, run for the hills. Um, and I think your pressure to take this opportunity is because you want to make more money or you want to feel more comfortable in your abundance and not feel like you're doing everything, uh, which is something maybe you did currently. Or the possibility is that you don't feel stimulated at your current position or wherever you are and you want more. And this could be relationships or career, okay? So you, it's, yeah, it's either one of the two. And it seems like, you know, whatever offers are being presented to you, and I feel like there's three, um, at least three, it just feels like a hang up. It feels like you're strapped into choosing one of them. And they all aren't really resonating with you the way you thought they would. Um, and you're kind of feeling pressured into just kind of going for them, which is difficult. You know, that's never fun. Um, Let's clarify some more of these cards. Okay, we've got Eight of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands upright. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of clarifiers here. Knight of Swords. Okay. Page of Cups. I'm going to scooch this down so I can keep clarifying. Page of Cups. Judgment, Page of Cups is in reverse also. Ten of Swords, or Nine of Swords in reverse. Um, six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I'm just gonna stick it up here so you can still see it, but it's, it's oh no, I can stick it here, you guys can see that. Okay, um, okay, these are our clarifier cards off of this. Let me see, what am I getting here? Okay, just from the jump, like when I pulled these two, I was like, what a dichotomy, like what an oxymoron you are. Um, because it's like, maybe you're not the kind of person that wants a whole lot going on. You just really want stability and you wanna feel calm and you wanna just feel relaxed. And Right now, it just feels like this this might of swords, like it's just too fast. Like everything's just going a little too quickly and it's kind of upsetting your balance. It's upsetting your mind, upsetting your, your state of being, okay? And that can be very frustrating. Um, sorry, that can be very frustrating, especially when you're trying to trying to be responsible because that's what I get is like you guys are trying to be responsible you're trying to do the right thing you're 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 seeing though that something's just not it's like you see the possibility of like okay where this could go like it could be something really good it could be something really fulfilling um and the answer is I feel like it will be I feel like one of these opportunities is going to turn to something that you didn't expect um now which one I don't know um but I feel like, it, or maybe it's not just an offer. One of these offers is going to turn to something that you didn't expect and it's not going to be as stressful. Um, maybe some of you guys have been asked to be in a relationship and you're like running for the hills or asked to be married or, you know, and I think with this, you know, or offered a new position or an upgrade or something like that, you're just all being offered something, a chance at something. And it's like, your childhood self, like the you that is, there's a part, like it will heal part of your childhood 
um, trauma. It's going to heal those childhood wounds for you to actually be involved in this. And this running that you're doing or this feeling of like, ah, oh, get away, this overwhelm is because of that trauma or because of that, that, that inner child disruption. Okay. Your inner child is like banging on the door. Like, let me the frick out of here. I don't want to do this. No, 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 no. But I don't feel that it's going to be something that's going to be scary. It just looks scary. It looks a little intimidating. I'll say that, not scary, just intimidating. So we take it with a grain of salt and we kind of just jump into it, right? We just kind of jump into it because we don't know. Like it could be awesome. We don't know. Like what if it's great? So um, let's do a little clarifier and see like maybe what these opportunities are or like these offers are. Um, Cause I feel like that'll help us clarify but I just feel like there's some offers and you guys will know better than me. Um, what these are for you pertaining to the generic readings that you can get a lot going on here, but you know what I mean. So let's see here. And we're just going to clarify with some Oracle. I'm using the Enchanted Map. Love this stick. It's so pretty and also very informative. So let's see what we get for you, Pile 3. What's going on for Pile 3? What... What are these offers? Like, what offers are they getting? Okay, rescue. Oh, okay. So I feel like that's that same, like, feeling of, like, safety. Like, someone, like, coming to... I'm getting damsel in distress kind of vibes. Okay, what else we got? Spark. Oh, hey. So that's what... I, see, I feel like I'm on the right track with this, y'all. I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there. Okay, what else we got? Magic prayer. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, one more. Two more. Okay. Let's reach up. Did it again. We got two more for you guys. Okay. Dry desert. Okay. And then the last one. What's our last one? Oh, 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 we got two. Okay. Let's see. That's surprising. I was not thinking two. Listening and wizard of awareness. Okay. You guys can't really see. Let me see. You guys can see all of your quads. I want you to see everything. Okay, these kind of came together, so we're gonna leave them together. So, what I'm thinking, okay, just to clarify and like reiterate, rescue. I think this is gonna be a positive experience. It's almost as if someone is coming to your rescue, or maybe you're coming to their rescue and it's just gonna be this really awesome collaboration. And that could be like again, career-wise or relationship-wise spark it's going to spark creativity in you it's going to spark this like love like this just passionate like she's got hearts <laughs> around her you know so it's going to spark this bit of passion um and maybe some of you guys are musicians or you're into music or you know whatever your art has been maybe you haven't been so into it and you know this opportunity that you're getting into is going to just kind of reignite that love for it or it's going to you know if you're getting into this relationship maybe this relationship offer is going to bring in a little bit more of like you know the love that you've been looking for that spark that you've been looking for that electricity that you've been looking for that you're terrified to kind of give into because of this childhood um this inner child healing that needs to be done but it hasn't been done but it's going to heal that so just look forward to that um, magic prayer. Yeah, I feel like this is something that you live. There's lots of threes here. Also three, 53, 31, 32, 34, 16, uh, 16 which is six um, and one, seven. So that could be significant. This is also seven. So yeah, I don't know. Think about that. Those are numbers that I feel like could be significant to you. And that could be dates or age or whatever. And maybe you've been seeing them often. Um, but I'm getting a lot of threes, which is like alignment energy, which is like getting in the flow of like life, you know? Um, easy manifestation, you know, being one with source spirit and just like knowing where you're going, you know, feeling that like instant manifestation, like here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, and things just kind of fall into place in a very lovely um, way. So that's why I feel like this magic prayer is, this is something that, you know, this offer is actually something that you have been maybe thinking about for a long time. Um, and you've been praying about for a long time, but you know, you hadn't seen it 
And like now all of a sudden that it's here, you're like, uh, what the heck? Like, what do I have? What is this? Like, why do I need this? Like, no, 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 no. I didn't think it was gonna come in this package or like, oh gosh, like now that's here, what do I do with it? You know, like you finally are seeing like in this desert picture here, like you're finally seeing movement or like the oasis that you've always wanted. And you don't, I guess maybe you're the reason you don't want to believe it is because you don't want it to be an illusion. You don't want it to be fake. You don't want it to be ripped away from you, but it's not, okay? Just know that the offer is for good. It's positive. It's definitely something that you're going to enjoy. Um, and yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be musicians because we've got listening here. We've got this violin here. Um, and even this gives me the, the, or dancers, like people who love music, like you guys are just, you know, you're infatuated with music and I think, I think it's just like allowing yourself to kind of take advantage of the opportunity presented to you um, and just listening to source, listening to spirit, um, being aware that, you know, even though your external circumstances might be saying one thing, then that doesn't mean that that's the final say, that that's the end all, the end all be all. I've said that in every single reading today because it feels like that's like what the feeling is. Like everybody's like, well, if it doesn't happen this way, then there's no possibilities other than this. Like, it's like you don't know all of the different directions that you can be taken by spirit. So might as well sit back and enjoy. Wow, that just fell out of there. I'll put that back. Might as well sit back and enjoy, you know? Like, allow yourself to be kind of more open and aware of different offers and possibilities of how things can happen for you, you know? Because maybe this isn't the package you expected, but it's going to be better than you ever expected. You know, does that make sense? Um, but just, yeah, having that awareness of that, having that knowledge of like, it's okay. <laughs> All right. I saw it come to the edge in there, but let's get some last minute clarifiers for you guys. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Never ending story. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what I feel about that in a second. It immediately made me think of like David Bowie and Niman and they have this beautiful relationship but the never ending story in general is just about like finding love and being okay with like your inner journey and accepting what is, <laughs> you know, even though it may not seem real or actually, you know what I'm thinking of? That's not the never ending story. That's a labyrinth. Okay. I'm thinking of the labyrinth, but the never ending story is very similar in that way too. All those 80s movies kind of have that same vibe. Time to go. Yes, 45. Um, let's see what else. But th that's just the vibe that I'm getting is like, don't worry. Like it's time to walk away from that old feeling that all those old thoughts of like, this is now gonna work out for me. I'm not gonna get the things that I want. I don't know why everything happens for everybody else and doesn't happen for me. Like it's time to let go of those things. It's time to release that and start on this new path. And you guys are like, I feel like you guys are asking like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Why now? Why this time? And like, the thing is, is that nothing ever happens when you're looking for it, does it? Nothing ever happens when you're actively searching hard. You know, it's always when you least expect it and you don't know why and you don't need to know the why. That's the thing. You guys are too focused on the why and the how and the who and the when and the where. Look at this. Can you believe that? I said, come to the edge. I said that. And look, it popped out again. Holy Holy, holy, holy. Uh, that is why I'm telling you, this has happened twice in these readings today and I'm just like thrilled with source. Like you guys and regeneration on the bottom here, you guys have risen from the depths and you are powering through and you are ready. Source is saying, come to the edge with me. You may not know what the unknown holds, but just allow yourself to be led. Allow yourself to listen to me, listen to source and just follow along. Because I'm going to guide you. I'm going to take you where you need to go. I know what your soul is asking for this time. I know your soul journey. So you have to trust me. So this is a big reading about trust too. It's just trusting that what is for you is for you. And if you are being presented with something, even if you don't understand why it's this way, and it came to you like, here you go, super easy, just investigate it at least. Take a, take a chance on it. See what happens. Come to the edge. I can't believe that pop. it was peeking out and it just popped right out. I love when that happens. That is, I can't, you can't make that up. You can't make it up. Wow. This is a beautiful reading. 
I I know you're gonna be like Ooh, shaking after this but like just trust just trust and just follow and just go with the flow and just know that there is no timing to anything time is relative just jump into it and see where it leads you because inevitably you're going to get to where you need to be you're going to be protected you're going to be in the right place at the right time okay i love you this is really cool way to go have a great rest of your day thank you pile three see you next time